Okay, here we are. Uh, day number five of this uh, Lego Pac-Man Arcade uh, build. The Lego Icons Pac-Man Arcade. So this is, like I said, day number five. Uh, we're about, I would say, probably about eight hours into this so far. Uh, averaging about two hours a night. A little bit went a little bit long last night, but that was mostly due to technical difficulties. So we'll see if any of those stuff, any of that stuff, rears its ugly head today. Tonight it is evening. Happy Friday. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of where we're sitting at right now. So everything is. Uh, it's mostly built at this point. It's mostly functional. So let's move on to bag number twelve. Here we go. Some nice big pieces in this one. Okay, let's start. Uh, let's start building this thing up. Looks like we're going to start right away with adding on pieces to the very top. So let's get this into the right orientation. Too bad there. We got some shadows from my light coming down, but I think we can manage with that. This should drop. This should go actually. I think fairly quick. These pieces are somewhat large. Large and in charge. Okay. Step 267. It has been an adventure, I will say that. Build up some more of these cross pieces here. I'm guessing this goes towards the uh, very top part of the uh, arcade cabinet. And the part that we're into now. The phase of the build. I'm already not following my standard best practices of picking out all the parts ahead of time, but uh, I, think, I think we're early enough here that I can probably get away with it for this step. Looks about right. So this constant re rearranging the cabinet here. You know, you can see there, but if I go like this, much more visible. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing on this side. I'm going to pick all these parts out ahead of time just to kind of stick with my standard method of building. So this is just going to go on the other side. Fortunately for bag number 12, there's not that many pieces in it. So this is going a little bit, whoops, a little bit faster than some of the previous bags. Oh, that's the one I want. It's a big long brick. Okay. And well, let's attach this right up in here. One now. There's a cross piece here that we're going to need to build up. And that requires four of these flat two by fours and one two by three. So step, step, step one, step, step two, and then the last piece right here. So that's pretty straightforward cross piece, which goes on the middle here. Okay. So now we need four of these long yellow pieces. We just basically add them on top of the, uh, top of this cross bar piece. There we go. One more. There it is. Now, like I said, this part is pretty straightforward. So we're just kind of building up these, the very top of the arcade cabinet. And two, two by four blocks. Two, two by three blocks. It's like a one by six, one by eight. It is a one by eight. It is 93 of these. There we go. Let's keep going up. One by three in front. And then the two by four. Three. And it's a little bit of a repeating pattern here. It shouldn't come as much as a, of a surprise. And a couple of these shorter pieces. Here we are. It does alternate these uh, these two by fours and the two by threes, so it kind of flips them back and forth. So instead of it being the th so this last piece here, this last level that I put on, this was a and this is a four, like a two by three and a two by four block, two by four and a two by three, and it's. Feel it's one of those things that just gives a little bit of uh, a little bit more structural integrity. Not that this thing is going to be subjected to much jostling around, jostling around once it's been built, and I wouldn't expect it to fall apart in the middle of the night or anything like that, unless some animal were to come along and knock it over, which is that's not out of the realm of possibilities. Okay, this is visible to the camera. No, so these yellow pieces on right in the middle. There we go. I don't know why that was giving me some resistance, but 
There we go. That okay. We're building. These things look like connector pieces. All right. So start off with these two yellow flat pieces. And then I need another flat piece, pieces with gray pieces with a hole in it, which then fits onto. Oh, there's a slight. I don't know if you can quite see that. There's just a very slight imperfection. Yeah, barely noticeable. Okay. Now we need this funny gray piece with these two, oh, sorry, one green piece. So it looks like the green piece and this whole thing acts on like that. So there's a little bit of the yellow sticking out. Yeah, we add and these guys. Start to look like a airplane or bird or something. Top that up with a red brick. And now we need one of these guys, two of these. So this guy is going to fit into that cross hole. I think, yep, that's as far as it goes. Top off these, this red brick with these two little pieces there. And I need to be able to build, excuse me, I need to build three of these. So can I do this without going back and looking at the instructions? Let's find out. I'm already off to a bit of a rough start here. No, nope. I got it completely under control. No problems at all. I've done this before just a few seconds ago. Black bricks on. We top it with a red brick and we throw this guy in and then two of these blue pieces on top. There we go. There's two of three, and it looks like looks like the first one, and it looks like the drawing on the page. That's always a good a good sign. So ooh, let's. I don't want to jinx it, but so far my cameras are behaving this evening. But you heard it here first. I've completely jinxed my. But we'll deal with that if and when the time comes. I've got my backup camera ready to go, so it won't take long to switch over if I have to. There it is. Oh, these go on to the very top part of the cabinet. So it looks like one fits here. Another one fits square in the middle. And then the final one on the end. So it does create a cross beam that goes across here, which wouldn't you know? We gotta add some more pieces to. Well, that'll keep the stuff from flopping around. And we're going to build up the edges. Uh, if you tuned in last night, you would have seen that I, a piece fell out here. I ripped it out. Sheer strength. And then I eventually found it and put it back in. Because it would look funny without it. One of those things, do I do it while I've got the stream going, or do I just wait until the very end? I do it before I go to bed, and that's exactly what I did. There it is. Box number 12. So now we're into... 13. There are two bags of 13. And again, uh, I'm also seeing. Oh, I don't have to put, I have to put these. Nope. I, there's stickers I don't have to put on. Holy moly. There are still a few more stickers to go, but they are very small stickers. All right. A little tiny bag of goodies. I suspect they do that so it's easier to count the little pieces rather than try to put everything into one, one bag. Like a quality control method. All right. So this is going to be the very top part of the the lid, I guess. Yeah. This is this looks like it's going to be the lid of the uh, of the cabinet. So let's build a lid. Okay. Some these pieces here. Here's our pan. Pan. Oh wait a second. Pac-Man. That way, if somebody just stumbles across the stream, they'll be like, oh, that's what you're building. Now, is this the right one? It's not. I need a thin, a thinner piece. There we go. Let's, let's actually use the right pieces here. Now we need the slightly wider pieces. Two of these black pieces right behind the first ones. And then we can attach. Looks like these guys go flush against the front. There we go. Oh, we need some more. One of these and two of these little yellow one by twos. 
Let's go in the same orientation along the front. And we cap it off with these two yellow pieces here. Okay. Then we need some longer pieces, yellow and black, and they look like they're the same length. These ones are at least. And then two more of these flat pieces here. There we go. So keep making sure the yellow is on the outside. Push that to that end. And repeat on this side. Two flat back black pieces go right here on the end. There we go. We've got two more of these longer pieces. Looks like, yeah, they run flush. And they're kind of flimsy. There's nothing holding those ones back. Or the large, large black panels they go on the end, as described in the picture. Come on, old girl, you can do it. There you are. So this is flush here. There's a little bit of an indentation there, so I think we're good. Now we need some of these panels, four of them to be precise. Throw them on right here, and they do. They've got a. They're not quite as glossy as some of the other Lego pieces, though. I don't know if it's a non-standard size or like a special run piece. It's obviously got the right Lego keys to it, so it is official. It's official yet different. There we go. And now we need, for 292, two of these long black pieces and four of these flat cap ones. Here we go. So it looks like, it looks like we connect this here just south of these, uh, or just below these flat pieces that we just put on. And then we add these four flat black pieces right below it. Oh, these aren't. Wait a second. Hey, Harry, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. That's not the right size at all. It is Legos. I think I need the longer one. Yeah, there we go. These will fit across, all the way across. And I thought those one by four seemed a little short. Yeah, this is the Lego Pac-Man set. And uh, I am on day five of this build. It's only, uh, I mean, day five, it sounds like a lot, but it's, you know, only doing this two hours, two hours a night. But we are at step 292, or page 299 of this mini-paged book. But it's coming along. Okay. So two of these guys and a little one by four here. So this goes on to the very end, the very bottom here. And then this one little one by four just kind of fits in here. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm answering your questions. <laughs> Keep them coming. I'll do my best. I'll do what I can anyway. Okay, I need 12 of these funny looking fellas, which are all right here. Okay, that should be these ones. <laughs> well, I'm here when you're ready. Okay, so we'll pop these guys on. So this one, uh, it's similar to the Mario set. I haven't built the Mario set, but uh, it is similar to the Mario set in that... Let's go right across. I feel like I'm missing a piece or something. It's similar to the Mario set in that, here, I'll actually, I'll show you. So this is the actual, the main cabinet part of it. Um, so it does actually have some mechanics in it. So there's a little hand crank on the side. So when you turn it, it's got a bit of an animation. Uh, so you don't really play it as such, right? It's, there's no actual, um, you know, there's no, no actual controls or anything like that. But, uh, but you know, it, it shows you the animation and stuff. It's uh, it's pretty neat. It was neat putting together because it's a, like a little Lego chain in there and stuff. And it was, it it took quite a while to get to. Oh, here we go. There's the last one to build up all those little chains and stuff. It was a bunch of like little links inside. It's it's been a fun build. I've I've been enjoying this one. I I I would actually like to get the the Mario one, uh, the uh, like the the Nintendo one, the uh, NES one, the original one. I think that'd be a fun set to build. Okay, there's a bunch of pieces here, so I'm just going to go and collect them so they're kind of in front of me. So two of those, four of these ones. A little flat, flat black ones. These are kind of a different shape to 
two of those guys, two of the shorter, the shorter of the longer ones, <laughs> and then two of these tiny little one by twos. Okay, well, let's build this thing up. This is just like dressing for the uh, for the top of the cabinet by the looks of it. Funny piece that give it a little bit of a kind of a rounded edge here. And so far, so good. It's right here. In theory, there it goes. With two of these flat one by fours. There we go. There's one. Do that one more time. Okay. There we are. And these fit on to I'll make sure I get the right orientation here, but I'm gonna go on get on to the very edge and on either side. Yeah, that's starting to look like the top of a cabinet. Now we get to do that with the yellow pieces now. I think everything is basically right here, so I'll just use these. Make sure I do this right. A little offset in, throw this guy on. Yeah, once you kind of work through the first one, the other ones are really straightforward to put together. Add this guy first. There we go. And this last rounded piece, and then the two flat tops. And let's throw that onto the lid. There it is. It even looks like the uh, picture. And this goes on top of the lid. We've got almost a good connection here. There. That's looking pretty solid. Not bad at all. So now we're really into the last little bits here. So we'll take this and start adding in the uh, Pac-Man sign. So it looks like there's four, four little connector pieces remaining. Gonna go out on a limb and say, yep, add in one of these. Okay. Oh, there's a little there's a little blurb here. It says the world record for the fastest time with a perfect score is three hours, twenty-eight minutes, and forty-nine seconds. That's a long time to be playing Pac-Man. Like those speedrunning guys. That's now that's fun to watch. I could never do it myself. I'm way too slow, but this guy, there's a bit of a trick to this. Let's put these Flat bricks on first, and then that just fits on naturally to the appropriate sized hole here. And this whole thing fits in to these receiver pegs right here. So it should just be a matter of connecting that right in there. Does that look like there? There we go. So that's the main part of the body. Oof, main part of the body done. So that's not bad. So yeah, it's really, uh, it's really come together nicely. It's a nice little, uh, not forget about our red light up piece here. So it's, we're still not quite done yet. We have box number, sorry, box, bag number 14. And this also requires a bunch of these guys. So I think we're going to be working on the back side. So let's, Let's get this open up. Oh, that's right. There's a little figure with this as well. Those are obviously a little Lego head. Bring this out as well. Should also be a. This is a. This should also have the uh, parts to make the joystick that's going to go in front. I'd be curious to know what the story is behind this Lego. Looks like a Lego lady. Here we go. I got a feeling. The book is going to tell us all about this person. All right. So let's start building this part up. So I guess we'll start with the back panel. Close. But I need two of them. It's like that. There we go. Ah, there we go. <laughs> so we basically add the rest of these panels here. There's this piece. This will be the back. And it can't be the back without a little bit of structural integrity. Do this so it's not flopping around too hard. Now, I want to make sure we get this in the right orientation. That's centered there. And this should be centered on the side, but not right to the edge. So it's kind of in here. Let's double check. Same thing on this side. Except up a little bit. Here we are. That matches the picture. It's already starting to feel a little stronger. Okay, we got some latching mechanisms here. I 
I suspect this is probably like a swing door kind of mechanism. So let's find the bits that I need. So two of these yellow ones, two of these blue bricks, or sorry, one of these blue bricks, a red cylinder, a flat red piece, and one of these jig jog things. Let's start here. The red piece on like so. So far so good. And like that. And that will go. Looks like down here, but flush with this piece. And there's a bit of a gap here. And this is flush there. And repeat for the other side. First, let me go find what I need here. Okay. Now this one, orientation matters. So pay attention to which corner that I'm putting, starting this guy off on. But I think it looks good here. And now this attaches right down here. There we have it. So let's flip this thing around. We're gonna add one more cross beam here at the top. And this isn't in line with these two. This is right flush with the edge. There's that. That's got good connection. Okay, now we're adding these pieces. I remember these pieces when I was a kid and I don't remember what it was, maybe like an airplane or maybe a boat or something. You do occasionally see some familiar pieces when you build up these sets. And this is definitely one of them. It looks like, like a little gun turret. So I'm not building the Pac-Man Lego set, I'm building little warships from when I was a kid. To this side, to the opposite, this side. A lot of wee little pieces here. We are attached. And it looks like there's a, so this rotates around. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do. I'll worry about that later. So these go on the end. Start with this side. So it looks like there's two and a half showing the connector pieces. So uh, going under the assumption this is symmetrical. So I'll put it in the same place here. So that looks right. And I've got these two little spigots on the insides. And now let's put this down for a second and build up whatever this is supposed to be. Okay, so I need, am I missing a bag? Hmm, I see this piece. Oh no, 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 everything's fine. Everything's under control. I was miscooked. I couldn't find this piece. <laughs> it was right, right in front of me. No need to panic, as it turns out. Oh yeah, this is gonna be like the latching mechanism. Need this piece, I don't think I need that piece, but I do need this piece. Okay, so one, two of these. It looks like we start this piece here, the end, like so. That piece and this piece here for step number two. Well, sub step number two, anyway. And then we do the same thing for the other side, right there. So that looks right. Now, whoops, come on back here. There's a couple pieces that I need. Yep, okay. So I will also need two of those. So the ball goes on this end and this, whatever this one is, the hitch down here goes on the bottom, the gray piece. And the two little rounded one by twos go on either side of that. And we add our flat top piece right in the middle. Now, looking at this, it looks like, let me just get the right orientation here. It looks like we, oh yeah, you can see here there's two of these little pieces here. So it looks like they fit in right there. There's not, there's not really anything holding it in place too much, but it seems, yeah, seems like it's not going anywhere. And so now this attaches to the bottom and will swing out. So let me just, let's see if we can get that on easily enough. So just move these pieces out of the way here. I guess they're supposed to be like, it's supposed to hinge on here somewhere. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it just sort of sits there like that. And if you want to open it, it's kind of hard to see here. But you just grab this little nub in here and that thing kind of sort of pulls off. Hmm, okay. It's not super secure there, but maybe that'll get sorted out in a second. That's a future problem that I'm not going to worry about for the right this moment. Okay, so we need this stick here. I think we're building a joystick now. 
So collect this piece, this ball. Let's wash her here. Oh, there's two of these shiny sleeves. That's kind of neat. So get this on here and throw this dude right there. Backwards, hold on a second. There we go. That's definitely, there's an orientation on that one for sure. Throw two of these sleeves on. This little washer, then this big washer. That's keyed. So that'll hold there. And then we attach. This just kind of fits together here. This is, I don't think this is an official Lego piece. Like a standard one you find somewhere. But this is our, this looks like a completed joystick. And this goes in. Great. And it's got a nice key hole, keyed hole. And there we go. And because it's rubberized, it actually looks like it does something. That's kind of cool. And it returns back to the middle. Neat. It, it actually it actually feels like a pretty good joystick, to be honest. Like, like it definitely has that, uh, yeah. yeah, it does feel like an old school joystick. Okay, we've got a couple more buttons here to add. I don't think this one, yeah, this one doesn't do anything per se, but it just kind of makes it look like there's a second button here. So I need like one of these gray dowel pieces. Oh yeah, okay. One of these black buttons. This piece, this piece, and there should be one like so. So we connect the button. Am I missing a piece? Yeah. No, no, no. Like this, I guess. Let me just have a look here. Oops. This must have to fit. How do I make the other one? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. It looks like it goes on like this. There we go. This gray piece fits on here. Where this ends up going, cabinet back out. And it goes right down here. This little receptacle and this button fits right there. So this one doesn't do anything. This other one that's already there lights up the coin light. Like that insert 25 cents per play there we have it another little uh blurb here talking about the designer of this game or the creator of this game mr iwat iwanati is a big fan of pinball and the graphic design for the original arcade version of pac-man was inspired by the game boards by game boards and slot machines that's where he got the idea from so this last section with the remaining bits and pieces, it looks like it builds up like a little diorama thing. And that's going to fit inside of the back of the cabinet. And it's going to show this person playing, I'm guessing, Pac-Man. So let's, uh, let's put this together. Now these pieces are quite small, but it shouldn't be too hard to put together at all. Okay, let's just build this up nice and level. We need seven more of these guys. Okay. There's this piece. And I wonder if this is going to look like funky 80s flooring or something. Eel coloring here. Sea foam. <laughs> Dude, these ones look a little. Okay. That black brick here. The light blue goes here in the corner. One piece goes here. And here we go. It's kind of a cool design. And if you told me I'm doing some uh, tile work here, I would have been skeptical this morning when I woke up. And yet here I am. A little one piece here. That's a cool design. It's coming together nicely. A couple more teal pieces up here in the corner. Single flat. And then a single with a connector. And we are into this business. Okay. We can finish, wrap this guy up. Design, I'll give it that. Piece here, and one more single flat piece here. There's our neat little design. So now we're going to make a little arcade box. So this is where we're going to need to do some more sticker insertion. That's okay. I'm all, I'm all prepped up. I'm all, I'm all geared up for it. I'm psyched. I'm pumped. Okay, two of these guys on here need ones these are these little funny half curve ones which go here on the front with the connector 
pieces pointed outwards. And we'll add a cap on here. Throw another one here. Looks like one more right here. So now here's our joystick. And that's cool. Now we have to start adding in these little stickers. So we're going to put them onto the first one is going to be onto this yellow, this yellow piece. And it is sticker number 12 right here. So as always, kind of fighting static electricity and trying to get it lined up nicely. There we go. And that just pops onto the front like that. Not perfectly aligned, but I think it's okay. Yeah, it's off just kind of sort of off in that direction a little tiny bit, but at least it's, at least it's like square. And if it's square, that's good enough for me. It is definitely the kind of thing I can live with. Okay. So two of these gray pieces here, I'm just, I've just skipped ahead the 15. I didn't skip ahead. I just, I'm at 15 now. Okay. So now we're going to do the screen of the game and that requires, there's my piece. Here it is. And a bit of a bow to it here. And so this orientation is important. I think on this, yeah, this is definitely important. So this part here is the top. I'm going to need sticker number 14. This guy right here. So tops on top, clearly captain obvious. The top is always on top. So now let's see if I can get this on hopefully straight in the middle. I've got a lot of straight edges here to help, which is nice. All these lines. There we go. Well, if nothing else, I'm at least consistent. And that fits on like this. I get two more of these pieces here. Connectors on either side. More. So there's going to be one more sticker here. I think I see which one it is, which is going to fit onto this black piece. But I think I'll attach the sticker first. The Pac Man sticker. Okay, orientation. The up down orientation doesn't really matter too much for this one, just as long as it's relatively straight. Let me take this around a little bit. Yeah, I'll do it this way. It looked like it was going crooked. Oh, this is the hardest part about the whole thing. Let's bring it a little closer to me so I can look more over ahead of it. Okay, nobody breathe. I'm going double handed on this one. I would have thought this one would be the one that would give me the most trouble. Okay, here we have it. How crooked is it? I'm not super happy with this one. Let's see what it looks like. I don't want to have to dig out the... Uh... <laughs> this is painful, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Hey, nice to see you this evening. Uh, it's... When you look at it from a distance, I can tell that it's a tiny bit crooked, but I don't know how probably good enough yeah and besides which it is like i can get it off i did this i had to do this yesterday with the uh with the score wheel so like i can absolutely get the heat gun out and all that kind of stuff but i, I don't think it's i think it's good enough i'll be i'm glad i'm glad it looks from looks good enough from where you're sitting because i can see every little every little flaw <laughs> okay so yeah, I am almost done this thing. It's, uh, it is very close. I, once I get this put together, I'll show you the whole mechanics, uh, how the whole thing works here, but, uh, it is, it's almost over one. I guess this must be the side of the cabinets that we're building up. Weird little wing things. Oh, I already had it. Okay. Never mind. I need two more stickers to apply as well. <laughs> so not quite done yet. Well, let's put this together first. Uh, worry about the sticker on, I guess it looks like step three. So we're just about there again. Okay. Now she wants a sticker. It says number 13. Yep. They're both identical. So it should just be a matter of popping one off right in here. Yep. For some reason I'm having a little bit easier time with the bigger stickers. Not that way. Not this way. Followed by this dude. And then the yellow piece that does look almost exactly like an arcade piece, which then fits on like so. That's kind of cool for the opposite side. 
cat has shown up. A wild cat has appeared to camera shy tonight, but it's certainly floating around down here. Okay. If I can get this change my orientation just a little tiny bit. There we go. Okay, we're floating. And we're down. Look at that, we landed it. Let's see if we can finish this off. That wing piece and that angled piece like so by my final bottom. This attaches on to here. So that is a little box. Arcade. Yeah, that's what we call them. So attach this onto the floor here. And here's my figurine. And this lady has uh, a coin in her hand that she's very clearly going to be Legos. She's going to be playing Pac-Man with. Yeah, this is a really neat, neat little. I mean, if the rest of this, uh, yeah, like it's the perfect size, right? It fits the Lego man, the Lego, the Lego lady, <laughs> the Lego person. Okay, so it says here that the vignette with the gamer minifigure and the Pac-Man console is a tribute to the classic arcade game halls. Yeah, the coin is definitely a Lego. A Lego scale. Not super realistic, unfortunately. Oh, this is interesting. There's still just a little bit more to build in this one. So this piece, and then this goes right here. It looks like it must might be like a stool or something. That's kind of cool. There you go. This is this is kind of cool. So this just fits on like so. So I got a little place to sit down. What's this supposed to be? A gumball machine? Well, let's build it and find out what it's supposed to be and then imagine. <laughs> imagine what it could possibly be. A light? Oh, it's very strange. Okay. At any rate, let's just start attaching stuff here and see where we land. It's on here. Piece on the front. Are these on? Maybe it's supposed to be like a gumball machine. That's maybe possible. And this whole thing fits on top like so. Yeah, must be a gumball machine. Because that just kind of fits right in here. With these remaining pieces. This looks like a cash register or something. There's a part of me that definitely misses like arcades that used to be in malls. It's very much a... I mean, I think the last one that I saw was maybe in the early 2000s. And there's this. Oh, it's a garbage can. That's what this is supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is totally a garbage can. This must be a like a gumball machine. And the vignette fits into round into the back of the cabinet. This thing is getting pretty massive now. So if I pull this down, this whole thing just comes off. I, I don't know if it's supposed to be attached or I don't think it is. I think it just comes off. Yep. You can totally pull it off. And then so yeah, when you pull this guy, it's in oops, like so. Now, when you open up the back of this thing, instead of just seeing the insides and the gearing and all that kind of stuff, there's also a little tiny little arcade inside of the, uh, inside of the arcade. So that's cool. That is, that is the completed set. That is all done. Close that up. So yeah, here it is finished. So this is the final, the final arcade. So I'll show you the, uh, this is, this is actually kind of neat. I'll show you the mechanism as it as it works here. So it's got all the gearing and stuff like that, but it, it allows you so like you can see it animates the ghosts inside. There it goes. Of course, nobody ever catches anybody on the corner, but it's pretty cool. This I kind of like. Oops. Up here, there's a high score thing, and you can actually like get the light going here, but you can actually change, you can actually wind the uh the high scores around so it starts at 36 and goes to the max is out at 10 uh, 10,275 points <laughs> so that's on a bit of a wheel uh, we got the the other feature here is the light up coin slot that's also kind of cool and the joystick actually 
feels like it's got a, it's all rubbery inside here so it actually feels like a proper joystick it's got the full range of motion and stuff like that so it's not it's not static at all so this and it comes right back to the middle and that's it that is that's the pac-man build the pac-man arcade set voila and with that i don't know i know i gotta find some place to put it <laughs> so so there it is and from all of this i've got an extra i've got an extra five I don't know, five Lego bucks. Got an extra five Lego dollar coin. But more importantly, we've got a whole bunch. So out of all those, out of those 2,500 and some odd pieces, these are my, these are my leftover pieces. So it's just like little, little odds and ends. Here's a couple of the, uh, the chain pieces here. But yeah, that's, that's it. And of course you can't forget about this guy here as well that's part of it and i think i'm not gonna be able to show this really well here just that out of the way but i it seems to me that this whole thing should just sit yep right on top but now when i look at it i'm just gonna hold it in place here but that fits right on there you can totally play around with that too if you wanted to so there it is that's cool so thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, going through the build with me. Uh, I am putting all this stuff on the, uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, so, so it will all be, the build will be there in perpetuity. Uh, I've also been, uh, when I'm editing it, uh, I've been cutting out all the silences and stuff like that. So this might be like a two hour stream, but it'll only be like maybe an hour worth of talking when you do it. So it's kind of cool how that all, you know, when you remove the silence, uh, from in between me talking it, it shortens the video quite a bit all right have a good night and uh see you soon bye